Hey everybody, Tracy here and today I'm going to be doing a kettlebell class with you, okay? So this class is no cardio, all right? It's all toning and we're going to use a kettlebell. So it's going to be hit intervals, all right? And there's going to be four rounds of four, okay? So they're a minute each move and they will be each round a minute so a minute work, 20 seconds rest, and there'll be four moves, then we'll get a minute rest, and then we'll do it again for four rounds. We're typically gonna do legs in round one, upper body in round two, legs in round three, and upper body in round four, all right? So it's a really intense workout, and uh, make sure you've got water, always make sure you've got trainers on, all right? And we're gonna warm up before we start. Other side. 
bend your chest. So squeeze the shoulder blades. Okay, so we're nice and warm. Quick drink before we start. So four rounds of four. It's gonna last about 24 minutes, okay? Okay. So, first move we're gonna start is with a white squat, all right? So, kettlebell wise, I want wider than hips. Ten to two feet. The workout begins in four. Okay, I'll give you options. One. Option one, keep the weight at the chest. And option two, press up your work your shoulders. So it's a goblet squat. Elbows into the thighs. Now watch. Do not here. It's the bonus load. If you can't get the elbows inside the thigh, you just can't. Don't 
can start. Keep going this one way. Big up. All the way around the head. Think of the circle, the more muscles you work. And the way. Oh, change direction. Right around. Come on, keep going. Okay, so we're halfway, right? Two hands done. Now we go back to legs. So we're going to do lunges again and squats and back of the legs. Exactly, okay? But different moves. Now, your wide squat is going to be what's called a figure eight. So you're going to go back to the ten to two and wider the hip. Now, all you do when you squat is take your cowbell from the front to the back. And you do a figure eight through the legs, yeah? Through, into the other arm, around to the front and through. It's called a figure eight. Go as deep as you can, okay? So that's your first move in round three. Are we ready? Let's go. Now, flatten the foot and push the heel up. 
might roll for these shoulders again. Okay, so you're going to hinge over. No squatting, watch. Hinge, look forward and row. So you look forward, don't roll the shoulders out. Do it at the side so you can see my back. Flat back, okay? No rolling the shoulders. 15 seconds gone. Into an upright row, come on. Over and row. Look at my row. Yeah, elbows are high, not there. That's not a row. The elbows pull up into the shoulder. Row. Oh, we're flying through this. This is round three, finished.
Okay, so we're going to wear these sides, uh, these love handles, right? Or muffin tops. If any of you get them over your jeans. So right arm. Halfway now, down. your feet are no wider than hip. They can be touching. Or oh, I take mine just slightly. Four, three, two options. Two, slightly easier one. arm at the side. Over and back. Or take the arm. So it's at the side of your head. And then when you come over, bring the elbow into your waist. So over and back. Now do half. Get ready because we have to change for the other half. I didn't want to waste two moves on these. All the way over, all the way back. Belly buttons in, keep the shoulders up, don't lean forwards. Over. Change sides. And if your elbow is like mine, you're working both sides anyway. Over, pull. Okay, so like I say, there's a floor workout, which is four blocks, sides, all fours, and then core. Or there is a core, just a pure core, and there's four blocks. You can do one block, two, three, four, okay, it's up to you. So stretch your shoulder, arm across in front, don't pull on the elbow. So hopefully you enjoyed, like I say, this is, this three kettlebell, just kettlebell classes on here, okay. So if you enjoy this one and have not seen the others, go and have a little look. And tricep stretch again, arm over. You can pull it back, but don't pull on the actual elbow, okay? Just below or above. And the other side. And now we're gonna stretch out your hamstrings. So like the warm up, tilt at the hip, you just gotta hold it longer. Supporting knee bent. Other leg straight, hips back, toe off the floor, toe down, hold it there, bend into this knee more, feel the stretch. And then the other side, so toe off, hinge first. And then toe down, bend this supporting knee more, feel it deeper. And now we stretch the calf. Now make sure you just don't stand like this, okay? You take the foot as far back as you can and push the heel down. Now transfer the weight into the front quad. Open out your chest. So chest out and squeeze the shoulder blades back, but still feeling it in the calf. And then change. So as wide back as you can with the heel down, weight through, and then open out the top of your back. And then lastly, these quads. Now hold on if you need to. I don't want you hopping around your house or bumping into anything, but watch. You don't want your legs here. Knees are together. Okay, push the foot into your hand and feel the stretch from your hip to your knee. If you're not feeling anything, you're not stretching and the other side. So knees together, push down hard and feel the actual stretch. And well done everybody, hopefully you enjoyed and thank you, bye.